Hello, Tri64 here with part... Shit, what part is it? Seven of my Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Dan's also here. Dan. Hi. Hi. He knows nothing about Kingdom Hearts. Totally. So, right now I'm going through the thing with the pirate ship. That's not awesome. What sucks about this with the metal run is that those buildings you see actually will take out a level of your metal. So you gotta dodge them. Here's this big ship, which you have to kill in order to get the 100%. In fact, in uh, level 3, you have to kill one of these in about 10 seconds in order to 100% it. Down a little. No. More of these enemies with one HP, no big deal. These cannons start to shoot these explosive balls, which do a ridiculous amount of damage. You want to kill these black things because they drop a lot of HP when you kill them. They also do a significant amount of damage if they hit. Sounds like a pretty prime target. Leveling doesn't affect the gummy ship run. It's just you don't get a high rank on your first run through the gummy ship. You don't get like X times 10 or whatever. See, I didn't even kill that ship. And I had. And that was the easy one to kill. Now just the little level ending part. Which is very long in this level. There we go. What? Unlock the teeny system even though I won't be using it for a while. Why? Why wouldn't you be using the teeny system? I figured, like, once you got it, you could just equip the one. But it, I'm not going to be, like, making teeny ships at all. Oh. The rock titan, very easy to kill. That's not even a boss, though. That's just the cutscene of Hercules killing him. Spoilers! 
Not spoilers, it just happened. I'm just skipping all the cutscenes to avoid copyright infringement. Because that's how semi legal this is. as an example of how underleveled I am. Watch how much damage this dog does. Over a third of my HP. Nearly a half of my HP, actually. Luckily, they're quite passive when you actually start hitting them. Quite passive once you start hitting them. Yeah. Now, a big thing about this level is you've basically got three magic points go running around, but you don't yet have thunder. So, magic is the only important one. Yeah. Bigger AoE than fire and does more damage. First of the land for enemies. I remember those. Now I'm actually gonna make head back a bit and pick up a few more kills because I do need to gain a level or two before the part at immediately after fighting Hades. Editing! Or not? No. No editing. Okay. Come on, damn, we're using Windows Live Movie Maker. Why would we have editing? That is true. Now these lancers actually do less damage than the dogs, however they attack more often. Which is why it's important to focus fire on them. Now, don't let them get onto their feet to attack. Don't get stun locked. Another important facet about the Lancers is that they're immune to thunder magic. Now I've got to wait for an ally heal. Actually, I'll just heal myself. What am I thinking? You know, Donald's dead. In fact, I should actually just go to my things and equip pie potion instead of potion. Because potion is pretty much useless in this game. Did you finish the Tarzan level? This is Kingdom Hearts run, 2, Dad. Run away. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 fire is actually useful. Okay. And yeah. you can dodge roll. Those are the two differences. Oh, also, gummies are less important. <laughs> Now to climb up this platform, which we will then... Oh, right, cutscenes. Who cares about cutscenes? Um... Now I have to climb up this little thing, but later on it'll be two waves on the bottom platform, one wave on the middle platform, and another wave on the top platform. 
really the second wave on the bottom platform that's going to be a challenge, which is unfortunate because it's actually the um, last wave that you have to fight, and running back the whole uh, thing is difficult, because you have to run back up and then back down. Okay. Okay. So the, the the Lancer spin move is a stun lock, however you're moving so quickly during the stun lock that it doesn't matter and you have to keep sniping. Okay. Now there's one more small group of enemies up here. Ow, that was a fucking bit. That was bad. That was quite bad. And you see this is the spawn, the respawn spot for even after you beat Hades, you respawn there. There's a nice level up, magic and defense increase. Magic increase would be nice if I had thunder. Take Thunder off his ability list, but it's really not worth it. Now there's a Hades boss battle here, so um By the by, uh what's no It's actually not really a boss battle. That's it. It's hit him with one combo and realize he can't do damage. That's it. Well more specifically, five hits so not so much one combo. switch out with Goofy. It's not like I have wisdom form or anything, or that I can use form for that matter. Now one thing I dislike about this is Bushido is on the reaction command, and I can't, can't get off of the reaction command. Yeah. Because that cry is something I'll often miss the click on, and I'll accidentally use it. You know. Same with Lance Tug. All right, wave down here. Two Lancers. That's the big thing here. I'm actually going to use Bushido. Your fate shall be twofold. Is 
I don't really need mana until the second round on the bot, or the second wave on the bot. That's it. Where I'll use Bushido again and then probably beat her on the second wave. Alright, the path is open. I'm actually gonna stay, stay here. And, um, I'm just safe stating because I don't want to have to do all of that again. What do you have to do again? You're back. No. So, killing these la two Lancers, no big deal. The main problem is feel the heat over and over again. They're really, if they're gonna make him spam a move, they need to give him more than one line. You played Sonic, you know how this goes. Alright, now here's the second wave. You can see why I was complaining about two lances and the first large body that I have to fight all game. That's it. That's it. Another thing that sucks about this part is it will lock on to Hades. Even though you can't do damage to him. Luckily, you can offensive counter the fireballs if you're facing the right direction. So you don't have to constantly worry about dodging or blocking them. Let's just kill Cheeto on the last guy. No, don't follow Hades! What? Oh my god. Alright, now get out of here. Safe zone. Cave of the Dead in her chamber, which has a safe spot. This is the only time in the game where I will ag agree that they should be exhausted after a battle. Normally they show like hundreds of har shadows coming along and well that might have been a threat in the first game, in this game with a path more passive AI. An infinite number of shadows is not a threat. I got her. You always have mantas. The world now, so yeah, you can leave those exactly. The regening mana in this game, as opposed to finite mana in the first game, and in the first game, the heart, the shadows would not drop mana orbs; they would only drop money and HP orbs. So if you were a caster, you were screwed. And it, on mass, they could actually deal damage to you, which is something they can't do in the se in the second game. Gather. Yeah, Thunder. Thunder. Oh, I've really got to take Bushido off of the it auto pass. Your pain shall be twofold. closed out the window. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the auto cast, or er, so I'm gonna take Orin's limit off of auto cast. Auto limit. 
don't equip. Come on, die already. I'm not dealing with a large body. Peace. Right, came from the dead entrance. Now, if I leave, I'm. I think I fight. Um. The three headed dog here, what's he called? Cerberus, yeah. Cerberus. Is this a. Crowd mode 100% let's play? Yeah. But you couldn't even do that on normal. It's a long battle. It's all about endurance. And using Oren's uh, limit at the right time. Your pain shall be too cold. I got all six hits on of it. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave Orin to fight him. I'm gonna run away until my mana regens, because really using Orin's limit was probably a bad idea. Um. Now once my mana regens, I can spam it with blizzards. God, why did those things just catch me? Alright. Lock on. Blizzard, 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 blizzard. Probably shouldn't have done that last blizzard instead used to cure. Remember when Diablo 3 was supposed to be an amazing game? I can use Mickey. I could, use, I could actually use a macro that spams triangle for this game. Just make your when you tilt your mouse wheel to the right. That's the one that types my name. You can type your name, it's not that long. It's 14 characters! Fine, 20... <laughs> My name's 27 characters long. No, your name's 10. Light, oop, light, oop. Give me power. And heal Sora. 
full health if I got all all the bars. Let's go. I got all of the bars. All right, time to spam Blizzard all again. The bars. Unfortunately, Cerberus keeps using this attack, which is very cheap. that one of these to invariably hit, uh, hit me. Oh, enough dodging ball. Okay, well, gonna take a bit more damage before using my cure. Oh, nice, I get to use these reaction commands. Does a bit of a stun. Where I just beat on him incessantly. Hidden dragon. For it's server, it's like we should use the wizard one. Air combo plus, maybe, but that only has one magic. This has two magic. I never bothered with magic. <laughs> I'm going the magic build. Suboptimal one at that. Now this one I sure. That makes it the best, right? Why does the wizard weapon have less magic? Yeah. Because it's a, it's meant for valor form. Yeah, but I had to tell you. That. Come on, it's weapon recommended for leveling up Valor. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so we both just healed me. Nice. Now I should be able to kill him. He can stop using that one move. No, he won't stop using that one move. He'll just spin, jump, and fight. That's all he's doing right now. Oh, at least he's doing the dodge him. You, if you're attacking him, you can't dodge the fight. That's the whole thing about the fight. But isn't there a reaction command? I died again. He had like Whoa. a quarter of a bar of HP left. God damn it, cut.